All right, since this is a modified different engine, a different compressor in this old vehicle with their original condenser, plus it's retrofitted over to 134, I was getting a little bit too high of the high side pressure. Going off the factory specifications, plus a little less because it's R134, you don't put this much in. I've done literally hundreds, if not thousands of BMWs of the old R12 to 134, but this one right away, I knew there was something wrong. Um, so what I did was I dropped out about an ounce of refrigerant back into this line. And what I did was I opened up the high side. I opened up the refrigerant line going back to the tank. And I just filled this up with hot high pressure liquid to get about an ounce, an ounce and a half out of the system. And it dropped down from 300 PSI down to 51, 257, 260, right there. See how it's going right there? It was at 300, 301 PSI before I performed that procedure, just by dropping out roughly an ounce or an ounce and a half of refrigerant. I know there's something not quite original in here. I might have to drop another ounce out of there. And because this is not reacting like the original engine and the original compressor, I'm wondering if the, this compressor that they put on here has a higher capacity than their original compressor. That means flowing refrigerant. And so the condenser is too small for the volume. I also did a, um, this is across the temperature, 87 degrees, 147 degrees. That is more than 50 degrees. And um, that is the inlet to the condenser the outlet of the condenser and I'm taking the compressor condenser drop and you don't want no more than 50 p, uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit this was 74 degrees Fahrenheit and it, it was a much you know I was a bigger swing there then I dropped out one ounce one and a half ounces of refrigerant and it closed up a little bit it's not so much anymore it's just a little more than 50 degrees and that was by dropping out one ounce more. So we're doing some custom modification because this is not all original. And so I'm trying to come up with the refrigerant quantity being a retrofit plus modified how to make it work best. And I think I'm gonna drop out about another 30 grams of refrigerant. And it's coming out 39 degrees out of the dash right now. There's my temperature gauge. So temperature wise, that's flying fine. okay. They don't have the original factory power. I have a jumper wire here going to the battery B plus, going right to the pigtail from the magnetic coil out of the compressor to keep it running just so I could perform my test. And that is about it. I'm not gonna go any farther on this one than this because this was a lot of modifications, got it working right. I told them, if you want to narrow this margin down and so we could get a more efficient condenser on there, uh, we removed the factory condenser and we put on a parallel flow micro channel condenser. It will greatly decrease the amount of refrigerant needed, but it will also greatly lower the head pressure and this will work better in hot weather climates. Um, think we're in San Francisco, you know, a Burling game right now. It gets a little hot here. Uh, he'll lose a few degrees out the dash on hot weather, but if he changes over to a micro channel, he will gain that back. Uh, the only other thing you can do too is go to extra mile and you put a micro channel evaporator inside here too and then you're really messing with the refrigerant quantity charge all right guys i'll see you later we uh we're done here on these two guys for today